In this drill of the month, we're going to talk about what we need to bring to the range in order to have a successful training session. One of the things that we need to start with is our safety gear. And it starts with a nice build hat. When you have hot brass flying through the air, if you have a piece of brass that falls down between your eyes and your uh, glasses, it's going to feel a little bit below average. So a build cap can help prevent that. Next thing, glasses. We need to have a good set of, uh, of eye protection. Glasses can help protect your eyes from uh, any fragmentation that comes off the gun, targets, or anything around you. It can also help protect you from, from the sun. So a good quality set of glasses is really important. Ear protection. We've only got one set of ears to, to last us a lifetime, just like we got one set of eyes, and we need to protect them both. So a good set of, of hearing protection like these uh, ProTac Hunters from Peltor is a really good investment. They allow you to hear regular conversation, yet they shut down the noise uh, during the shooting. I also have a set of custom earplugs that you can go to any audiologist and have them make. And they also have uh, sound wave channels in here that shut down any loud percussive noise. Very important. Don't forget your gun and a holster. Okay, Quality firearm, check. Most guys have got that. But it's really important to have a quality holster, a holster that retains the gun, covers the, the trigger, and allows you to train like you want to train is super important. But a holster, a high quality holster with a you know $2,000 gun isn't going to do you a squat unless you've got the belt to support it. So a good quality belt that can withstand the uh, weight of the gun and holster is, is absolutely essential. Magazines, don't forget your mag carrier, your magazines, and then you need something to feed your gun. Don't forget your ammo. How many people go to the range, they get all their gear, they leave their ammo at home. Doesn't do you any good. You can dry fire practice at home. You don't need to go to the range and forget your ammo and just do some dry fire practice. So when you're ready to hit the range, don't forget eyes, ears, build hat, holster, gun, ammo, belt. You need all of these things to have a successful training uh, session. So we hope to see you on the range.